Chilling new details emerge about the fatal machete attack on the Appalachian Trail in Virginia, and this article is by ABC News. Chilling new details have emerged detailing how a Massachusetts man allegedly attacked a pair of hikers with the machete on the Appalachian Trail in Virginia, killing one and severely injuring the other. James L. Jordan 30, of West Yarmouth, Massachusetts, was arrested early Saturday following the deadly attack in Whit County, Virginia, that a federal prosecutor described Sunday as senseless and brutal. On Friday, Jordan allegedly approached four hikers near the George Washington and Jefferson National Forest, according to a criminal complaint filed Monday at the U.S. District Court in Abington, Virginia. Jordan was known to the hikers who had previously seen on social media that he allegedly threatened hikers on the Appalachian Trail in Unicoi County, Tennessee in April, according to the probable cause statement. Jordan was acting disturbed and unstable and was playing his guitar and singing when he approached the uh, group, the complaint states. Later Friday evening, the group made camp near Whit County, Virginia, within the George Washington and Jefferson National Forest. When Jordan allegedly began approaching the hiker's tent, making noises and threatening to kill them, according to the probable cause statement, through the tents, Jordan allegedly threatened to pour gasoline on them and burn them to death, prompting the hikers to pack up and leave. Jordan then allegedly tried to approach the hikers with a knife as they tried to leave the campsite, the complaint states. Two of the hikers chased him away, but Jordan allegedly returned and began stabbing the male victim in the upper body after they began arguing, the complaint states. The female victim ran away after watching the first victim fall to the ground, but Jordan caught up to her as she began to tire, according to the court documents. She then turned to face Jordan right raising her hands as if to surrender, and Jordan allegedly stabbed her multiple times. She then fell to the ground and played dead, and Jordan left to find his dog, the complaint states. Once Jordan was gone, the victim ran down the trail and ran into two hikers who assisted her to the next six miles into Smith County, Virginia, where they called 911, according to the court documents. Authorities at the Whit County Joint Dispatch Center received the first 911 call around 2.30 a.m., Saturday from two hikers, presumably from the initial group, saying that they were being chased by a man with the machete, the complaint states. Around uh, 3.12 a.m., the female victim called emergency dispatchers in Smith County detailing the attack. The male victim was found dead at the scene, and the female victim was taken to the Bristol Regional Medical Center in Tennessee, where she gave a statement to investigators and named Jordan as the man who attacked them. According to the complaint, the victim's names were not immediately released. Jordan was arrested on the trail around 6.14 a.m. Saturday. He had blood on his clothing when he was taken into custody, according to the complaint. A knife was found near the deceased victim's body according to the complaint. A motive for the alleged attack is under investigation by the FBI's Richmond, Richmond, Virginia Division. Jordan was charged with one count of murder within the Special Maritime Territorial Jurisdiction of the U.S. and one count of assault with the intent to murder within the Special Maritime Territorial Jurisdiction of the U.S., authorities said. Jordan will appear in the federal court in Abington, Virginia on Monday, authorities said. It's unclear if Jordan has retained an attorney. The most infamous murder on the Appalachian Trail occurred in May 1981 near Parisburg, Virginia, where the bodies of two hikers, Robert Mountford Jr. and Laura Susan Ramsey, both of Maine, were found in their sleeping bags. Mountford had been shot three times in the face, while Ramsey was stabbed repeatedly with a long nail, authorities said. Randall Lee Smith was arrested in the double homicide. He pled guilty to two counts of second-degree murder. The slayings became the subject of the 1984 book Murder on the Appalachian Trail by Jess Carr.
So I just threw in a little history about the Appalachian Trail um, in this video. Leave me your thoughts and opinions uh, below. And I just want to say he is being charged with a federal crime because this did happen on federal um, land. Can you imagine being camping and having a guy outside your tent threatening to burn you alive and you run out of the tent and he's chasing you with a machete? Um, more than likely, this guy has a mental illness, but we'll have to wait and see.